What if I told you that a collection of weak learners can come together to form a strong learner? That's the fascinating world of ensemble methods in machine learning where the whole is indeed greater than the sum of its parts. Today, we delve into the depths of two such methods, bagging and boosting. Imagine a student preparing for an exam. Bagging is like studying different subjects from various books. Each book provides a different perspective, enhancing the overall understanding. In machine learning, bagging or bootstrap aggregating works in a similar way. It takes multiple subsets of the original dataset, builds a separate model for each, and then combines their predictions. This process reduces the variance in predictions, making the model more stable and less prone to overfitting. But what if the student struggles with a particular subject? Here's where boosting enters the scene. Boosting is like focusing more on the subjects the student finds difficult, thereby improving overall performance. In the realm of machine learning, boosting works by building multiple models sequentially, where each model learns from the mistakes of its predecessor. This strategy reduces bias, making the model more accurate. So, bagging and boosting, though similar, serve different purposes. Bagging, with its parallel learning approach, is all about reducing variance and preventing overfitting. It's like getting various opinions on a topic and then making an informed decision. On the other hand, boosting, with its sequential learning approach, is all about reducing bias and improving accuracy. It's akin to learning from past mistakes to become better. But remember, both bagging and boosting come with their own set of strengths and weaknesses. Bagging, though great at reducing overfitting, might not perform well if the data is biased. Boosting, while excellent at reducing bias, can sometimes lead to overfitting if not carefully handled. In conclusion, bagging and boosting are powerful ensemble methods that can transform a group of weak learners into a strong learner. Bagging leverages the power of collective wisdom, while boosting capitalizes on the lessons learned from past mistakes. Both are essential tools in the machine learning arsenal, each serving its unique purpose and playing its part in the epic battle of machine learning. So, the next time you're faced with a complex machine learning problem, remember our student preparing for the exam. Will you choose bagging, studying from multiple perspectives to enhance understanding? Or will you choose boosting, focusing on the areas that need improvement to increase accuracy? The choice, as always, is yours.